I'm out here showing you my echinacea and the steps I do to dry it. So this is one plant and this is two plants. And I think my third plant must not have made it. But as you can see, I have lots of flowers. This is the third picking already I've done on these bushes. And you can see there's always new buds coming up. So all I do is like when they are like this is when I cut it to dry and all I do is cut it right to here to the end because you don't want to cut the whole stem off because you can see there's two more coming so you only want to go right to where that stem ends and cut that off so this is when the time is that you cut it is when it's drooping just like this so it can start to droop like that and then it'll go to there and after they're cut you put tie them up like this and hang them somewhere we have them in our farm stand and they're just starting to dry these have been just a few days and you can tell over here these are all dry so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leaves off of it and I'm going to take the, these petals right here I'm going to pull these petals off and I'm going to put them all in a baggie I'm going to scrunch it all up to make small pieces and that's going to be my echinacea tea for the winter that's going to help build my immune system and I'm going to use when I start to get sick and I tell you a lot it works like a charm.